Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the snap tools in 3ds Max. We have the snap tools in here as you know from before. The S is the shortcut for the uh, snaps toggle and you can activate the angle snaps with A and also the percent snap you can enable it from uh, clicking here. We don't use this one that much so it's a little bit less used of these three tools I guess. And there's a percent snap tool. Uh, also, we don't use this that much as well, but I'm go going to show that to you anyways. Now, uh, let's start by drawing a box, creating a box. And let's set the dimensions to 30 by 60 by 20. Doesn't really matter, but I want them round num uh, to be round numbers, so let's set that. And also, I've, I've moved the box to the uh, origin, okay? Now, I'm going to create a copy holding shift uh, now I'm going to show you how we can place this box, the new box, to the original box and we want to be exact about the location, like I want to place the corner, like lower left corner of the box to the lower left corner of the original box, let's say, or so, so top left corner of the original box. To do that I'll hit S and right click on this menu and this will bring up the options of uh, your snaps. As you can see we have some quite a lot of actually snaps in here uh, but the I guess most used ones are the vertex, grid points and sometimes midpoint uh, in my opinion. I, I guess you can use these other tools uh, but they are not in my workflow really. Let's only enable the vertex for this example and now what I want to do is as you can see as I hover over the box, the new box, you can by the way leave this open or you can just close it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as this is activated or you hit an S, if you hit S again by the way it will disable this. As long as this is activated snaps will work. Okay, And you can see that as I hover over the corners of the box a new uh, icon appears, a plus sign appears on those corners and it means that we can grab this box from those corners and move it around. Okay, It's a little bit weird to use uh, snaps in 3ds Max, it's not as uh, smooth as in uh, other softwares like AutoCAD or Rhino in my opinion at least but uh, anyways it's a very useful and we need to learn how to effectively use this so I want to uh, just share some uh, little hints tips and tricks for you as well in this tutorial about this. Now uh, originally what you do is hover over this uh, corner and you go over the box so that your cursor changes to a move icon as you can see in here this is a select icon if you click and drag now it won't move but if you hover over the box and ch see that uh, your cursor has changed to a move cursor then you can just click and drag and you can see that it grabbed the box from that corner and if I hover over the corners of the original box you can see that I can place it uh, any corner I want of the original box and you can see that I can just hover over here and just leave it uh, in here and this is uh, right now we know that these two are sitting on top of each other and exactly they're aligned in the X and Y axis, okay? Which is very cool. If you, for example, select two of these and apply a chamfer modifier, you can see that we have two boxes sitting on top of each other, okay? Uh, if you disable this, uh, it seems like one box, so maybe it's a little bit better visually if you add this. But for now, let's just delete it because uh, if you add that, then you can't really grab the corners uh, of the box because you are destroying the corners and we will talk about that in a minute. Okay, let's uh, just move this to another location and try another example. Let's try to place this exactly uh, next to the original box. And I'm going to just adjust my viewing angle so that I can see both of these corners. And now if I hit, hit S and just grab it from here and pull it here, you can see that I can just place it exactly on that corner. Okay. Let's delete this and create a smaller box so that we can feel this a little bit better, I guess. Uh, I can. Uh, I will change the length and the width to 5 and the height to 30. And now I can just hit S again. Or if it's uh, already this, uh, enabled, don't do it that, don't hit S. But you can just grab it from the lower left corner and move it on top of the uh, other box. And also you can copy these as well as you move them. If I hold Shift doing this, I can just create a copy and just create the copy on the other side and I can just select multiple objects and again use the snaps and copy to create another four of these or two of these boxes sorry. 
next video I'm going to use these and try to create a, a simple chair model and you will see these commands in action as well by the way okay this is the vertex tool now the weird thing about this as I told you before is even if you see that sign when you ho hover uh, over the corner if you don't uh, hover over your box if you are in an empty space like this I'm talking about your cursor position uh, then it won't select the object. If you just click and drag, it will make a selection window because uh, we are not in the move tool if we are in here. Even though this seems activated, it's not. Okay, this is a little bit weird. Uh, to get around this, there is an option called lock selection. It's in here. Uh, it's uh, The shortcut for this is Control shift and It was space uh, until Max 2020, so I'm really uh, used to using snaps, but uh, sorry, space bar. But right now the spacebar opens up a window like this and the lock selection is on top. You can use this as well, but you can click here as well. Uh, what this does is it won't let you select any other object. So uh, right now if you hover over the, even if you don't hover over the box, uh, it will grab the box. As you can see, move it. You will avoid by mistake deselecting the box. Okay, that's uh, something very cool. Uh, we use this a lot. Uh, let's hold shift and move it. And you can see that I'm much quicker with this because I'm uh, much less afraid that I'm going to choose or deselect my objects, okay? So as you can see, this is something we can do as well. Okay, uh, let's talk about some other snaps. Uh, now, second most used is the grid points, in my opinion, because uh, it helps us create lines that have some uh, dimension to it or we know the dimensions of and we can just draw straight lines with this real easy uh, what I mean with this is I hit T to go to the top view I'll uh, activate the grid snaps and grab the line command and you can see that if I just click here uh, I can start from the origin exactly and I can just one two three four five draw lines that have some dimension information uh, actually I have this dimension information at least you can see the dimensions in here, by the way, if you go right, for example, you know that it's a 50 centimeter line. Uh, if I click like this and also I can just go on. You, uh, uh, also, we know that a grid square is 10 centimeters right now, so we can calculate it from there as well. Okay, if I go uh, zoom out a little bit, uh, I can, for example, draw a line starting from the origin. Let's uh, check the, this side in here. I want to... Uh, create a I want to create a room uh, with dimensions 10 uh, meter uh, an L-shaped uh, room dimensions 10 meters on one side 5 meters on the shorter edges okay I'll hold shift to do that this and read the value in here and I'm going up up and I can find that okay by the way if you zoom out enough then the grids will uh, expand and you can see that the grid dimension changed in here as well so it's, it will be a little bit easier to count, I guess. If I hold shift, I'll click here. This is 10 meters. This is five meters, five, five, and then 10. Okay, and easily we have created a room that we know the dimensions of. And th this is uh, really weird to do otherwise in 3ds Max, I guess. Uh, so uh, this does help uh, a lot in my opinion. Okay, this is how we use the grid snaps and there are a bunch of different snaps. Uh, the pivot point will hold the pivot point of the object. You can try them out, uh, I guess. The perpendicular snap will help you uh, snap uh, to the perpendicular points of the objects. Like when you start from some place, you can just draw a straight line to an edge. Vertex, we have seen this edge segment. Uh, sometimes we do use this if you want to uh, create a new line uh, if you want to create a new object and you want to just grab the edge of this box for example uh, you can use this I get into the box command and I'll just, I can just draw a new box uh, by the way while you drawing a box you can hit S again to disable the snaps and this is very helpful as well because sometimes it goes a little bit crazy because there are a lot of edges on this box uh, so you can just create the new box right on the edge of the original box okay these are things you can use and it's very helpful in my opinion.
Okay, actually I want to show you the perpendicular option as well because uh, sometimes we use that uh, as well. Uh, what we do with this is you can just start lines and just end these lines uh, right on top of the uh, another line or something. If you are draw drawing walls, for example, this could be very useful. So you can use this one as well. Face holds on to the faces of the objects. Let's say we have a box and you want to just draw a new uh, box on the on this face. As you can see, you can do this without uh, going into the autogrid command. Uh, I don't know how useful this is because we have the autogrid, but I'm sure you can find some use for this as well. Uh, grid lines, you can hold on to the grid lines. It lets it G to open them up. And you can see that we are not just holding on the corners this time. We can just hold the edges of these grid uh, lines. And the bounding box will hold the uh, bounding box corners of the object. Tangent will uh, will help you create tangent surface. I guess this is a little bit okay. I'm not going to show all of these uh, one by one to you because I want to get into some other snap types. Uh, Endpoints will help you grab the endpoints. Midpoints uh, will help you grab the midpoints. This could be a little bit useful if you want to just uh, draw a new object on right on the midpoint of the of an edge. I guess. And center face will help you grab the center of these faces. And in 3ds Max, originally these faces are made of triangles, so it will just grab the center point of that triangle uh, for you. Okay. All right. Let's uh, delete these. Hit P to go into the perspective uh, view, and let's just talk about the angle snap, person snap, and the sn uh, spinner snap. Angle snap is something we use a lot, so let's talk about this a little bit, uh, and then. Uh, I will describe what these are to you. The shortcut for this is A. You can hit A and activate this. Uh, and for the options, you can right click on this. There's only one option for the angle snaps. The other, sorry, this one. Uh, the other ones are for other general snap uh, options. And the uh, important property in here is this one. Okay. Uh, this shows you or this asks you uh, the angle snap or angle incremental angle of the uh, rotation uh, you are making. If you set this to 5, you can draw a box, hit E, and just rotate this. As you can see, it's 5, uh, it's rotating um, by 5 or multiplies of 5. As you can see, it's minus 20, for example. This is very useful because if you want to just rotate something 90 degrees, for example, this is very useful, as you can see. Uh, let's change this to 20. And now if you rotate this, it will rotate uh, by 20 or multiplies of 20, as you can see. Leaving it, uh, this at 5 is, I guess, very practical. You don't really need to change it that much. But if you want to, uh, for example, turn uh, rotate this 37 degrees, for example, then you can do that as well. Maybe this uh, these specific angles could be useful. Let's change this back to 5. Okay. All right, and we I guess we have seen how to create copies with angle snap as well in the previous lessons, so I'm skipping that uh, for this lesson, and we were going to use that a lot in uh, throughout uh, all the tutorials, so don't worry about it. We will exercise uh, that a lot. Okay, uh, the uh, percent snap will help us scale objects uh, with a snap. Uh, let's set the uh, dimensions to 10 by 10 for this box. And move it to the origin. And, if, and now if I hit uh, R, uh, which is the shortcut for scale, as you remember, you can just uh, scale this up and you can see that, please read the value in here. And you can see that it will only increase uh, by 10 or multiplies of 10. And you can see that I can easily double the height of this because I can, uh, I have a snap now. Okay. If this is disabled, you know that the, these values will be, uh, we won't be exact, okay? And you can see that it's like uh, 277.985, and this is not a value we usually want, okay? So if you right click on this, you can see that this is the percent uh, you can change, the percent snap you can change. If you change this to 100, for example, you can only double the uh, height of this if I <laughs> of course we, it needs to be enabled and you can see that let's undo this yeah now I'll just 
scale this up and you can see that it only changed between 100 and 200 or 300, 400 and so on. Okay. Uh, this also works in the uniform scale as well, by the way. I've shown you only one, uh, in one scale, but I guess it would be easier to see. But you can do it in any axis. Okay, let's go for the spinners. Uh, the spinners is uh, the spinner snap is the snap for these spinners in here. If you just click once, you will see that it changed uh, one centimeters. If I click again, it changed one centimeters. If I disable this, it won't work like that. It will again be not be round numbers it will be uh, float numbers i guess usually you don't want that but uh, doing it from here is i guess a little bit of a uh, less practiced way to do it i guess for me i can just input numbers in here i can just type in 20 for example and i, I guess i prefer that but you can use that as well if you right click on this again we have the options and in here uh, the spinner snap you can set it from here uh, I, I know that Max is a little bit weird, every option is in another window, but you will get used to the language of Max. I'm, I'm using like Max like for 10 years, I guess. Uh, I know the program well by now, and I s uh, swear you will like it in time. Uh, you can change this value as well. Let's change this to 10 and see what happens. I can just click here once. Oh, sorry, of course, this needs to be enabled again. I can click here once and see that it changed 10 centimeters in increment or it increased 10 centimeters by value uh, on that box if you enable the spinner snaps. Okay, uh, these are the snaps in 3ds Max. I hope this was useful. Uh, if this was useful, uh, please hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and please hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.